questions you had that night. How did this live up to them? Um, it was amazing. It was dope. Um, just uh, appreciation of fans coming out, uh, the city coming out, showing love. Um, it was surreal, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just trying to live in the moment. I'm um, enjoying every step of the process that was here. And uh, most important for me, just try to get a win, which we did. It was a good day. And uh, I'm just glad we won. There's a, there's a moment after uh, starting lineups and then right before the tip off where you kind of paused a beat uh, in front of the, the visiting bench. Were you thinking about the game at that point? Thinking about 10 years here? What, what's going through your mind? Um, for one, just thinking about uh, all the history I have here. Uh, so many people I touched here, so many people touched me. Um, watching me grow from a young boy to a man. Um, looked over at the seats where my mom used to be sitting at uh, and the other four seats where my family used to sit at and just try to uh, fantasize and be in that moment for a minute. You know what I mean? I felt like uh, just being here, was, like I said, still so surreal to me, still don't feel right, still feel different. But like I said, I enjoyed every part of this game. And I'm glad we got a win. And uh, it was it was, it was was uh, a lot of chills, trying not to cry, hold back a lot of emotions and kind of be in the moment of the game and try to win. When you had that six straight points run in the second quarter, you paused in front of the stands, from two sections of stands. For the record, did you say, still my city? Yeah. Still my shit or something else? Still my city. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, like, like I say, um, just being in that moment and just being on going on runs here when I played for 10 years, uh, just knowing how much this city means to me. Like I said, it's always second home to me. And uh, kind of flash back and forget like I'm in a different jersey. You know what I mean, just being in that moment and electrifying the crowd. You know, that's what I've been doing for a lot of years in my career when I was here. And I think that's a lot of appreciation I get here and how much effort I give when I step between those four lines. And uh, just to see the crowd stand up, I'm like, damn, I might feel like be, I'm still in the Wizards jersey, you know what I mean? So it was a dope moment for me. You got your start tonight um, with the Clippers. Of course, you've been coming off the bench, but you've still been able to show your leadership skills in those ways. I mean, um, how did it feel tonight, again, being back starting? Um, it was great. I mean, like I said, um, it's a big moment for me, I think, just being back here. And uh, kind of like I told the team, I said, don't don't make it about me. Like, I know it's going to be a lot of cheers, a lot of stuff. But uh, just go out there and compete. Just try to go out there and win, make the right play. And I think early on, the first two plays, like, we were trying to get me the ball and trying to get me the score. And I'm like, I'm just trying to play with the rhythm of the game. We're not trying to force it and do anything like that. And I kind of, we got off to a bad start. But uh, we kind of settled down. They was on fire. They couldn't miss. Uh, we couldn't make a shot. Damn near the whole game was like a lead on the basket. But uh, we got some stops down the stretch. I've been did a great job for us today. You know what I mean? Paul George is being we was uh, making big shot, the big shot. But uh, there's always a next man up mentality for our team. You know, we just got to do a better job of rebounding and committing ourselves on the defensive end. Offense ain't going to come easy for us. Don, what would you say to Brad during that timeout? Which one? <laughs> there may have been more than one occasion, but uh, maybe the last one. Oh, no, I don't know what I said, man. We was over there laughing and I think good when I just hit a corner three, and I looked at it and I was like, damn, they just ain't missing tonight. And I was like, well, we got to get it going. And I was like, I told him, like, I wish he was out here, you know what I mean? Because the, the game would have been a lot more competitive. And it still was a competitive game. Those guys came out and competed with a lot of guys being out. Um, and that's what pros do, though. You know what I mean? You can never underestimate a team because guys are out. Uh, they still have two great, talented guys in Coos and uh, Pazinis that can score them and give you a tough matchup problem. So me and Brad were just chirping back and forth. And then I went out there for a uh, layup lines and then I seen him right there. I think he had just finished working out and it surprised me. I'm like, damn, what you doing out here? He's like, I'm trying to get back. So it was dope to see him. Um, John, so when you talk about, um, when you said this is, you know, still your city, what message do you have to the fans and supporters uh, who love John Wall? You know, the guys, the, the Washingtonians from War 7 and War 8, the people who couldn't afford a ticket to be here tonight. What message do you have for them, uh, who, who th those people who still love and support John Wall? Um, it's always love. Um, those people have a big place in my heart. Um, hopefully they could be, they was able to watch the game tonight. And uh, just to see me back out here in this moment, like I said, just being out here, you know, touching that floor, is, it was uh, a lot of chills, a lot of emotions going through. And I just wanted to win. That was the most important thing for me. You know what I mean? Definitely when you go back to the place where you was, uh, and, and have history that you want to win. And shit, I didn't give that. We won about one, 1.5, whatever. As long as we won, that was the most important thing for me. And uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I got to see my old housekeeping lady. I mean, I got to see the person that just bought my old house. I got to see people that worked on my house. I got to see everybody, staff that worked here. Just everybody that, that touched me and had a big place in uh, my career of being who I am, of on the court and off the court. Um, I give a lot of shout out and love to them and all the people that's in Ward 8 and Ward 7. Um, just what I was able to do for them to help them out and try to make their lives a lot easier. 
Uh, like I always say, my mom always told me uh, it's best to be known as a better person, not just a, a great basketball player. And uh, I don't do it for attention. Like, you don't have to have no cameras there, none of that. I'm going to be there present. If it started at 9 to 2, I'm going to be there from 9 to 2 and just let these people know I'm still a normal human being just like them. I'm going to take a few more questions. Hey, John, we know the impact you made, but uh, one thing is you helped a lot of people just talk about their mental health and kind of changed a lot of people's lives. How does that make you feel knowing that just when it's bigger than basketball that you've been able to do that for people? Um, that's just all the time. Everything my mom instilled in me, you know what I mean? Like, she didn't care if I was getting 40 points or 50 points. It's how you treat people. And that goes a long way. And I think uh, everybody that knows me just always say I've been authentic. I've just been real, I've always been myself. Um, I never sugarcoated it. Um, not trying to say I'm trying to be mean or an asshole. It's just who I am. And I just like to be true to who I am. And I think a lot of people respect that. And that's why a lot of people appreciate who I am. And besides the win, what are you going to take away from this game uh, the most? In just the love I got. I mean, this is something I've been waiting for for four years. Uh, the first time I got traded, I came back with Houston. It was COVID, so you couldn't be here. Uh, then last year, uh, I wasn't playing. And I was back home with my kids. And uh, just anticipating, like, I was like, oh, don't have no injury coming to this game. If anybody had COVID, don't come around me. Like, I just want to be at peace. Like, I don't want nobody to mess this moment up. And I'm glad I got the opportunity to appreciate it and be here and uh, get the love that I think I deserve. And I feel like I got my flowers. All right, last question. John, I think in the same vein, I was going to ask, you talked about how this has been surreal for you coming here with the fans, et cetera. Does it give you a sense of closure, just how everything, like you said, pre-COVID and just how you left? Did tonight give you that closure that maybe you needed? No, no. I still, ain't, I still not saying goodbye. You know what I mean, you never know what the future can hold. Never saying goodbye, but it's no closure for me. It's just another step in the ground where I got the opportunity to see the people that love me and see me grow from a 19 year old little boy to a grown man, uh, and have two kids and uh, embracing me and my whole family like we was from here. And uh, I'm gonna continue to show my love and support for the city and the people that's always been for me and that's never gonna change.